daily grind and how to escape it. Tana and I have a few methods. Take a look at this amazing pictures we take in the ocean. This is a genre we've been spontaneously developing. A way to be together, to do something creative and also to create these moments of beauty that we can look forward to. We just put on our sometimes fancy, sometimes not as fancy dresses, evening gowns, cocktail gowns and go into the waves. But, but always with perfect makeup. That's yep. right. Waterproof makeup. <laughs> uh, one of us poses, the other takes pictures. Why are we doing this? Why not? <laughs> Beats your bathroom selfie, doesn't it? All week I'm working really hard. If I know that on the weekend Tana and me are driving to the beach and are doing something crazy there, stepping out of the box, I know that I will be looking forward to it all week. Another thing is that I know that I will really put everything into that moment. I will live that moment, I will enjoy it to the fullest. It's also about the meaning that you put into it. I want to take something out of this experience that allows me to uh, explore, to get in touch with a particular thing in myself. Because of this creative aspect, from these mini events I will take home something that I will enjoy for months and maybe years to come. One important aspect of this special ritual that we are talking about is doing it with a friend. First of all, take a look at these images. Isn't it better than selfie? The quality of the images is better, but also the quality of experience is much richer. And the quality of looking forward to this and committing yourself to actually doing something special like this. Uh, for me, the whole trash the dress idea uh, was introduced to me via a very dear friend, a very successful wedding photographer with whom I worked for quite a while. And Trash the Dress, I mean, if anyone remembers, a couple years ago, was really starting to trend, right? It's putting their bridal gowns in the ocean, or take your prom dress and, and put it in the water. And so, kind of becoming aware of this through more of a commercial uh, avenue, you know, being a model for some of this stuff. I decided, going home to see my family one summer, I called up my sister, I said, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. And my sister's great, so she was totally game to do this, and we roped in my sister-in-law as well. And you know, you get your gowns from the thrift store, and you work at your jewelry. I mean, you're not gonna put anything valuable out there, of course. And it's just so much fun. So going home in the summer, we all dress up, the whole family thinks we're crazy. Uh, there's no ocean actually where I live, so my, my uh, experience of it there was in a, a nice mountain river. And we go walking on over there in our gowns. It's, it's fairly private, fairly secluded through a little bit of forest to the fishing access. But my sister's children, I will never forget this day because it was just so much fun and we completely mortified and traumatized them. And it was wonderful. It was a beautiful July afternoon. We got beautiful pictures of all of us. So, pictures that are so far outside your daily realm, your daily experience. And that's a big part of the fun is it isn't the bathroom selfie. It's not that casual click, click, click. It's just you took a little time. And if you've been losing all that weight, thinking uh, to be in bikini shape and you didn't lose that one last pound and you figured out I can be uh, taking pictures of myself on the beach, now this is your chance. Take those pictures on the beach in beautiful flowing gowns where that one pound is absolutely not visible to anyone. <laughs>